back to my channel. Today we are talking about another set of multichromes, this time by Glam Shop. So if you want to see if they're good, if they're not, and what looks I've created with them, then keep on watching. Also, if you're new here, hello, welcome to my small little YouTube channel. If you want to see a little bit more fun and colorful looks on your timeline, Please subscribe to this channel. I upload normally three times a week, so if you don't want to miss any of my videos, subscribe. And now let's come to a little bit of not Colourpop, but Glam Shop Multichromes. I ordered five, and uh, yeah, let's talk about them. <sighs> Listen, I told you uh, after I bought Cleonard and Uns Eye Multichromes, I did wanted to buy also cheaper multichromes so I can use like all three types of multichromes, like different price ranges to make a video. But of course I had to try them and I bought by uh, like multichromes from Glam Shop. Uh, these are the five shades I bought. I will also, of course, link all of the shades down below. And uh, I was waiting on a sale. They are around 10.49, if I'm not mistaken, when you, by the way, this is a Colourpop palette I bought. Like, listen. Um, yeah, I bought them on sale because I was waiting on a sale. Normally they are around 10.49 for one shadow and I bought them for eight something. You know, and so I was really, really excited uh, to try all of these five shades. Um, I bought four of more of a flaky texture. These are these. And then I bought one of these, which is a little bit more of a dense texture. And I feel like this one is like a true, true, true multichrome. You know what I mean? These are like trichromes. It's more, still multichrome, guys. It's still multichrome, but just so you know, um, I ordered the last time, it's a little bit back, I ordered multichromes by Glam Shop and I think there were more like duochrome type of shades. I ordered a pastel multichrome, which was a shift from an orange to a mint. And yes, it has a shift from an orange to a mint, but it's just a duochrome and not a multichrome as it was like marketed. And these ones I feel like are way more multichrome than the last ones I ordered. So this is a great, a great revelation or a great um, result, at least in my opinion. I was still super excited to test these uh, because again, I am in the search of great multichromes for also a smaller price tag. Again, I ordered Uden's Eye as well as Cleonard. So if you have any suggestions which multichromes I should try as well, leave it down in the comments. I would really appreciate that. As I said, these four are a little bit more flaky just so you know, also sometimes a little bit mushy. This one, uh, which I have on the middle of my eyelid, this one is virtual pink, which is a little bit more transparent based, you know, um, but this one, for example, is not transparent at all. So just so you know, by the way, this is multi unicorn, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think though they are super super pretty i think for the price like they are eight bucks something they are really really nice um i did two looks with them uh, this one is the second look and i think they are totally worth it for the price tag i definitely will have in the future um a video where i compare uh, the Glam Shop to the Odin's Eye to the Clonet Multichromes again if you want to have any other multichrome as well then please leave it down in the comments below and then I will add it in as well. Uh, I am not sad, angry, mad that I bought these. Again, this is not the first time I bought Glam Shop Multichrome, so I feel like you do have to be a little bit more careful which ones you buy because if you wanted to have like a Multichrome and then it's just a Duochrome, listen, that's not fun. Um, but I think like for these especially, uh, again, I will link all of them down below. Um, I think these ones are definitely worth it. Again, I think especially for the more flaky shades, I would suggest 
spritz your brush with uh, like a um, setting spray. I use at the moment the Hydro Glow from by Essence. There is also the fixing one that is working well. The milk one is working well. Some random uh, makeup revolution one is working well. It's just that they don't like have a little bit of something to stick and to not just crumble off your face because fallout. And then again, you can you also use your finger, which I did as well. And they are gorgeous, gorgeous. Just saying. I do love all of the colors, to be honest. And I am super, super excited that I have these. Again, these are a little bit more cheap if you buy them on sale. If not, they are even, even then they are cheap. Uh, the Odin's Eye are around 14, 50, 40, 90. And the Cleonat is depending on what multicom you buy. They are around seven to 25 bucks. So, you know. Yeah, but I definitely enjoy these and I can recommend them to you and I will recommend them to you because they are beautiful and stunning colors. Again, if you want to see uh, what looks I did with them, um, by the way, in my looks, uh, these ones are just like the topper or the, the, the special shade. I did use uh, some uh, matte shades as well. This one I did with the Barbie and Glam Like palette just to add in a little bit more of a purple hue. So if you want to see uh, the looks, then just uh, keep on watching. Also, I will do or put timestamps in the info box where uh, the looks are. So if you just want to, like if you do have them at home and just wanted to do some looks with them, they are in the info box below. Then yeah, just let us start with the looks. Welcome to the first look with the Glam Shop Multichromes. Uh, I hope I said in the intro that I bought them when they were on sale and I have five colors because that's, well, it's an occurring thing with me and I think five is good. Five is, sounds nice, just saying. Uh, of course, all of these are multichromes, so I definitely want to have a matte base first. So I will speed through the matte portion and then we want to uh, like see how the multichromes work, if they're great or not. I plan at least using two, we'll see. I want to do my uh, matte makeup with the Clarity Cosmetics Cobra palette, which is indeed a uh, I showed you this one in a get ready with me. So I just used these four shades and I love the look. So I want to use like the more tea shades and then we see if I can add in some glam shop. Just so you know, I will speed through this because listen, I don't think this is like super exciting because it is mainly about these. So yeah, let's start. Okay, so this is the base and now let's dive into the fun part. I wanted to use these two, like this one and this one. And I feel like you definitely see something totally different. You can definitely see the gold or yellow part. I see the purple and blue in this one. And then this one looks to me light blue. And I feel like, yeah, you can definitely tell if I like hold it like this. I didn't swatch these so far. And uh, yeah. This one is even better and this one is alternative or indie, something about that. Of course, I will link all the products down below. I will start with, listen, I know this one is is uh, teal. This would be more appropriate, I feel like, but I wanted to add a little bit of fun. So yeah, I will use these two and we'll see like this one. They are so pretty. Listen, they are so damn pretty. Let's try these. Uh, I think I will start with my finger and then we go from here because I feel like that will work the best. And I'm going into alternative or indie, depends, just with my ring finger. I don't know if they are flaky or not, we'll see. Ooh. 
look at this again i didn't swatch any of these this is stunning i hope i planted in some swatches if i didn't you see swatches here uh <laughs> this is so damn pretty i don't know if this is fitting at all to the look but we'll try but look at this Ooh. that's pretty this is so beautiful definitely think with fingers it gives the most impact as well as no fallout just a little bit of fallout though and let's try like again even better on the pinky to bring that a little bit close like Did I tell you about the one time I bought a multicomb by Glam Shop and was disappointed because it was just the duochrome and not the multichrome? Well, these. Ooh, look, look at this. So damn pretty. Let me add, I can definitely see blue, green, and I think in this lighting, I also see like a purpley shift. So, <laughs> this is giving me life they are a little bit more of like a flaky texture again i feel like especially with this flaky textures i feel like they are best applied with your finger or a damp brush one of those two this is so damn pretty i don't know i think in the camera you can definitely t see a difference in both colors, like this one is a little bit more cool tony with a light blue shift. Let's see if I can show you at least a little bit on my on the back of my hand. Let let's try to focus on these. Yeah, you can definitely you can see a little bit of the color to it. This one is even better, and this one is indie or alternative. Like stunning. It's also a little bit brighter. Let me try to also apply that. Let me like apply the uh, tea shade underneath on the lower lash line. I'm just cleansing a brush. And this one, let me see. This one is also looking so good. Uh, I want to use the teal one, at least in my lighting. And this is, it's a hit. Just to see if I can also like apply it here. I will use again the brush. It's a little bit more loose. Again, I feel like especially with the flakies, they are a little bit more loose. So just keep that in mind. If you buy them, if you have them, if you want to use them, just have a little bit of setting spray. And a smaller brush. I'll reapply that on the inner corner and on the like lower like in the inner part and here just to brighten up that area and more flaky so i would recommend to do your eyes first or to just powder because that's normally you can have a better like swipe that away i don't know if you these are gorgeous, but I don't think you can see, at least not in this lighting, like the shift really, really good. I don't even see the shift really, really good. Let me see. This one is, what did I say? It's, it's a hit? No, it's even better. I think this is the correct term. You can definitely tell this one is the new one. There's a little bit of a purple, but I also see the teal. It's gorgeous. Let me finish that up and do it on the other eye and then I will tell you a little bit about it. Like my first try. So this is the look. Uh, I finished it with some lashes this time. I know which ones they are. They are the uh, Lily Lashes in Mykonos Light. <laughs> Listen, I'm not good at lashes, uh, but I, I think they fit perfectly. I did... Um, finished both of my eyes and i think you can tell that this one has a little bit more product on it i feel like that is sometimes the 
sometimes the mistake you can make uh, because of these flakies so I would just tap it it on but I am like right handed and so for my left one I didn't press too much I feel like and that's why this one is a little bit more whimsical and a little bit more like soft which I absolutely love listen um, this look is by the way stunning do I think with all the light in here that you can tell that there are different multichromes on my eyes? Nah, nah, I don't think so, but I hope that I can make a picture or something that will show you the difference in all three shades because I can clearly see the difference when I look at these. It's just not translating, at least not with these lighting. So yeah, this was the first look. Let's come to the second. Welcome to the second look. Listen, this is not second. This is second. I want to use the other two multichromes, which are these two. Hope you can tell. A little bit more purple, so I wanted to do a purple look, and I was like, yeah, let's let's play a little bit with the glam light and Barbie palette because listen, bubbles, stunning and beautiful purple. So let's do that. I think I will switch eyes because I think I, the last time I used this eye and I want to do this eye, but let's do this. Uh, I will, of course, skip to uh, through the matte part as I did in the last look, just so you know, I will, you know, tell you what I did at the end. Uh, again, I used this uh, Barbie palette and I want to use the purples. I do a little bit of a halo eye, so yeah, just right through this and then when I'm finished with the matte part we go to the exciting part. Well, to be honest, that is everything I want to do. So I just used like three purple tones. I could have done two. Listen, I could have done two, but yeah, let's start with the fun part, which is the multichromes. I do want to use these two shades, which this one is multi uh, unicorn. This one is looking a little bit different than the other ones. And this is virtual pink, if I'm not mistaken, yes. I don't know if you can tell, but this is like a blue, pinky, purpley shift. Such a pretty shade. Uh, I want to use this one like on the outer brim and then this one on the inner brim. Let's do that. To be honest, I pick up the unicorn shade, which is again the uh, more non-flaky version, I would say. Let's do some spritzing here because fallout and just spray that on a really really tiny brush because listen we don't want to have that everywhere because I do want to add the ritual pink shade as well and uh, yeah just put that here on the edges to the deep purpley shade like this this is so pretty by the way do you have to say this time? The multi-chromes are not as disappointing as the last one. So the last one were just two chromes. Do the same, of course, on the other edge. Like leave a little bit of space in the middle that we now use the virtual pink shade, which is again a little bit more of a flaky. Yeah, a little bit more of a flaky texture. We'll see about that. Maybe I will, I try to spray that. It, let's try to spray that. So this is not. These are a little bit more flaky. So I think, again, you are best using them uh, with your finger and then just pack that on. Look, look at this, isn't that pretty? I think with this shade, the virtual pink shade, this one has a little bit more of a transparent base. 
And if I would have layered like a purple underneath it, I think it would definitely go way more purple. Why is my ladybug on my ring light? Yeah, and we do that same thing on the lower lash line. You can definitely tell I did like let a little bit of space there. We just this is a little bit much product. It was a little bit much product, I'm sorry for that. Put that a little bit there and then we use again the virtual pink shade. And the middle. I think on the lower lash line this is a little bit messy, but we can do this. And now let me let me just use the really really deep uh or the deeper purple again on the edges just so that this is like not topped and we have the depth again in this look a little bit back That is mainly is to be honest. Uh, I will finish the look. I'll be right back. Okay, this is the finished look. I added some liner, which is Crybaby by Colourpop, and then you can use every purple liner. This is the finished look. I absolutely love it. I wish though, well, no, I'm fine with that. Um, of course, in this part where we added the virtual pink, virtual pink is a little bit more transparent, so it is perfectly to add on top of maybe a purple, a pink, a blue even. And that is the only thing, you know, that is a little bit like see-through, but I think in general it is stunning. I love it. I do love the look. I love that I did a halo again because like the last time was a lot of years ago, let me tell you, but yeah. This is the final look. I hope you enjoyed everything and all of the two looks. Of course, I will link all of the products down in the info box below. Please also leave a comment if you want to see more of these videos. Also, if you want to see me more um, multicombs testing. I mean, I tested now three brands and I am really excited uh, to even test more. So let me down your uh, suggestions for more multicombs. And um, yeah, I wish you a beautiful week and we see us in my next video. So bye guys. Thank you.